Bonjour et bienvenue chez French Sounds. Welcome to French Sounds. In this video, we're going to talk about a special situation where a nasal vowel will sometimes denasalize or become oral in a liaison situation. Normally, when you have a nasal vowel in a situation where it must make a liaison, such as a modifier that precedes a noun. The nasal vowel retains its nasal quality and the nasal consonant is pronounced in a liaison situation. So let's do some examples. Mon ami, mon ami, ton ton horloge, son, son œuvre, un, un effort, aucun, aucun arbre, d'un commun, d'un commun accord. The same thing happens with the preposition en. For example, en attendant. En attendant. In situations where you have the subject pronoun en, either directly in front of the verb or with object pronouns, you are in another situation of liaison where you have a nasal vowel. For example, on arrête, on arrête, on y va, on en achète. You hear it also with the words bien and rien. For example, bien aventureux, bien aventureux, bien entendu, rien à faire, rien à faire. However, in a very limited number of words, it's possible for that nasal vowel to lose its nasality and become oral. So let's step back a minute and think about what happens when you add an E to a masculine singular adjective that ends in a vowel sound that is nasal. So for example, you would take prochain, un, un. That's the masculine singular. Add an e to it, and it becomes prochaine. Prochaine. So our a sound has now become n. A non-nasal a plus the nasal consonant n. Something similar happens if you put prochain in front of a masculine singular noun that begins with a vowel or mute H. In this example, we'll use hôtel. Prochain becomes proche and then the N in a liaison situation. So, répétez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Le prochain hôtel. Le prochain hôtel. Let's do some other examples. En plein essor. En plein essor. d'un certain âge, 
d'un certain âge. Un vain effort. Un vain effort. Le Moyen Âge. Le Moyen Âge. A similar situation happens with the word bon. Bon, in the masculine singular, ends in a nasal vowel, on. Make it feminine, and it becomes ba a a n bon. The on denasalizes into a. Now, let's add a masculine singular word that begins with a vowel sound after bon. And we get, for example... Un bon ami, un bon ami. What would that be in the feminine? Une bonne amie, une bonne amie. So, bon ami sounds the same. The only way to distinguish the masculine from the feminine is replacing un with une. Here's another example. Un bon indice. Un bon indice. So that's it for today. Bonne continuation et à la prochaine. Merci.